Guy Laliberte, born 2 September 1959 is a Canadian businessman, investor, poker player, and musician. Along with Jill Saint-Croix, he is the co-founder of Cirque du Soleil. With an estimated net worth of $1.37 billion as of January 2018, Laliberte was ranked by Forbes as the 11th wealthiest Canadian and 459th in the world. Following an announcement from the Cirque du Soleil on the 20th of April 2015 concerning a change in ownership, Laliberte will maintain a stake in the business and will continue to provide strategic and creative input to the company, starting out busking as an Accordion player, stiltwalker, and fire eater. In 1984, Laliberte founded Cirque du Soleil, a Canadian circus company whose shows have since been seen by more than 90 million people worldwide. In 2006, Laliberte was named the Ernst and Young Entrepreneur of the Year. Topic Early years Laliberte was born in 1959 in Quebec City, Quebec, Canada. His interest in show business began at a relatively young age. His parents took him to watch the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus, an experience which led Laliberte to read the biography of P. T. Barnum. While he was still in school, Guy produced several performing arts events. After school, he entered the world of street performance, playing the harmonica and accordion on the streets of Quebec. Laliberte joined a performing troupe called Les Echassiers, which included fire breathers, jugglers, and acrobats who hitched around the country from show to show. He later returned to Quebec, where he attempted to keep a steady full-time job at a hydroelectric dam. However, soon after his employment began, the company's employees went on strike. Laliberte took the opportunity to return to his life as a street performer. In 1980, he ran as a rhinoceros party candidate for the electoral district of Charlevoix in the 1980 federal election. Career <laughs> 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 Cirque du Soleil Guy Laliberte co-founded Quebec's first internationally renowned circus with Gilles Saint-Croix and a small group of colleagues. He recognized and cultivated the talents of the buskers from the fate Forain de Bay Saint Paul and created Cirque du Soleil in 1984 with the support of a government grant for the celebration of the 450th anniversary of Jacques Cartier's discovery of Canada. Cirque du Soleil was originally set up as a one year project. However, the government of Quebec wanted a touring event that would perform in other provinces. The name Cirque du Soleil, Circus of the Sun, which Laliberte came up with while he was in Hawaii, reflects his notion that the sun stands for energy and youth, and that the circus is about those two words. In founding the company, Guy Laliberte was assisted by Jill Saint Croix. It is said that Laliberte is the father of Cirque du Soleil, while Saint Croix is the Grandfather. Since 1984, Laliberte has participated in the creation of every Cirque du Soleil show. Cirque du Soleil has become a sprawling international operation, as much in terms of its makeup as in the scope of its activities and influence. The organization now has activities on five continents. Its shows employ approximately 4,000 people from over 40 countries and generate an estimated annual revenue exceeding $810 million. Poker career In April 2007, Laliberte finished fourth in the World Poker Tour Season 5 event at Bellagio in Las Vegas and won $696,220. 
Laliberte also played on GSN's High Stakes Poker Season 4 show and took part in Poker After Dark Season 4. He was also known for frequenting the highest stakes games on Full Tilt Poker. In 2011 Laliberte announced The Big One, a $1 million dollar buy-in tournament which was featured at the 2012 World Series of Poker. Part of the prize pool was donated to Lalibere's philanthropic organization One Drop Foundation. Forty-eight players participated in the tournament and Antonio Esfandiri won the $18,346,673 first place prize. The tournament raised $5,333,328 for the One Drop Foundation. Topic: Space flight. In September 2009, Guy Laliberte became the first Canadian space tourist. His spaceflight was dedicated to raising awareness on water issues facing humankind on planet Earth, making his spaceflight the first, in his words, poetic social mission in space. The event was accompanied by a 120 minute webcast program featuring various artistic performances in 14 cities on five continents, including the International Space Station. In June 2011, Laliberte published a book, entitled Gaia, containing photos of Earth from his 2009 trip to the International Space Station. Proceeds from his book are to go to the One Drop Foundation. Topic: Atoll of Nukatepepe. Guy Laliberte became in 2007 the owner of the Atoll of Nukatepepe in the French Polynesia. Major works that took place there were expected to end in 2016 at the cost of approximately $20 million, according to Journal de Montreal. See below. In May 2014, Guy Laliberte told the Journal de Montreal that he wanted to make of this place a shelter that could accommodate his family and friends in the event of a global catastrophe. Because of all that's happening in the world, I said to myself, that could be the place where, in case of an epidemic or a total war, I could bring people I like and my family so that we'd be protected. It will be completely autonomous on the level operation, solar, environmental, ecologic. Topic awards and honors Université Laval, Quebec awarded an honorary doctorate to Guy Laliberte in 2008. The year before, Guy Laliberte took the Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year award for all three levels, Quebec, Canada and International. In 2004, he received the Order of Canada, the highest distinction in the country, from the Governor-General of Canada. The same year, he was recognized by Time magazine as one of the 100 most influential people in the world. In 2003, he was honored by the Condé Nast Group as part of the Never Follow program, a tribute to creators and innovators. In 2001, he was named a great Montrealer by the Académie des Grands Montréalais. In 1997, Guy Laliberte received the National Order of Quebec, the highest distinction awarded by the Government of Quebec. On the 22nd of November 2010, he and Cirque du Soleil were honored with the 2,424th star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Topic: Personal life. Lalibere's son Kami is a racing driver currently competing in the European Junior Formulae. 